91s, 28s, Tigers, and P Rods. It's Thursday, June 6th, 2013. This is Today in Sneaks. Welcome to Today in Sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and let's get things started right away. First up, we have some PE colorways of the Air Jordan 28. In total, there are four pairs, all of them for Ray Allen, two for home and two for away. Personally, my preference is the away pairs because I really like the fractal elephant print. There is no word that any of these colorways will actually release to the public, but I do have my fingers crossed that they do. Be sure to catch the game tonight to see which colorway Ray Allen is actually going to wear. Speaking of dunkers, one of my favorite dunk contest dunkers is actually getting a little love in the next few weeks with the return of the Reebok Omni Light D Brown. By far one of the best moments in the dunk contest, the kicks D Brown was rocking that year will be returning on June 14th. The sneaker from 1991 will be hitting select retailers for $115. Fans is continuing to pump out new colors for the summer, and the latest is the Classics Ballistic Pack. The pack includes the Authentic and the Half Cab in either a black or wild dove colorway over reinforced ballistic nylon. Each pair also rocks vulcanized waffle outsoles and should be hitting retailers later this month for $55 and $65 respectively. As I mentioned yesterday, I am a big fan of golf and I love to play the game, so I would be remiss if I didn't remind you that the Nike TW14 will releasing on Nike.com as well as Nike ID tomorrow. The free inspired golf shoe will be available in the black or the white colorway and you can actually officially order it from Nike ID. Here is actually a Kobe 8 Elite inspired version that I created on Nike ID. Nike also released a scripting for the US Open today showing the clothes and kicks Tiger and Roy will be rocking at the major championship. I really wish the NBA did this so we would know exactly what colorways and shoes the players are wearing so we don't have to guess. Finally, and I have no problem admitting that my skateboard game is horrible, Nike SB today announced the Nike Paul Rodriguez 7. The model takes a step away from the running shoe look it had been flirting with the last few years and now looks more like in the dunk direction. Three quarter lunar lawn will keep you cushioned and the modified herringbone outsole will help you with your grip and adjust to the movements of your foot. They also have an anatomical sock liner which should also feel really great. Look for the Nike Paul Rodriguez 7 to drop in July and shout out to Nike SB because the gifs that they made today for the announcement of the shoe were really dope. For the sneakerhead of the day, I'm going with Prep 23. Has a really great collection, but more than anything else, has a lot of diversity. I love the feel of cage that it put up right here. Uh, for those of you that want to be the sneakerhead of the day, all you have to do is follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram name is Cousteau, and use the hashtag wear your kicks. Well, that is gonna do it for the show today. If you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something new is happening here on this channel. And as well, make sure you visit the links down in the description. It'll take you to the full stories of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. Click in here somewhere for something random, and I will see you soon. Peace. Twenty-eight.